So as the kids are heading back to school, parents may want to keep an eye on their progress, perhaps looking out for signs of dyslexia or other learning disabilities. Katherine Campbell is the director of the Institute for Professional Learning at Groves Academy. Joining us now, thanks for coming in, Katherine. Thank you. Good morning. Yeah, this is something. This is uh, scary for parents, I think, as you try mm -hmm. to figure out is is something not maybe as expected with my child. Exactly, and those warning signs can really. Um, look different at different age groups so the preschool children might um, a child might start to talk a little bit later than maybe their siblings did they also sometimes have trouble recalling words so mm -hmm. whereas one four-year-old might say i can't find the remote another four-year-old might say where's the thing that changes the t tv mm -hmm. channels mm -hmm. so it's not just maybe they're writing the letters or the numbers backwards no it's not so when you think about early elementary school where children are starting to learn their letters and sounds thinking about oh is my child learning their sounds um, as they come across in in class and are they starting to put sounds together and sound out words mm -hmm. and that's when you start to at least if, wonder if we need a little help right yeah. right and for older children older elementary it really is are they able to read the passage that right. the teachers sending home or are they spending a tremendous amount of time sounding out each word rather than just reading it at a conversational rate? Mm -hmm. So what should you do if you start to suspect something? That's a great you question. Talk to your doctor? Or? I would say the first thing to do is go talk to your child's teacher. Okay. Really, you are a team, your partners yeah. in this kind of education journey. And so go, she spends six hours a day with your right. child. Find out if, if she's seeing the same things and if she has concerns, then you can, you know, either maybe there are some additional resources at school or you can think about right. outside resources. Uh, talk about other things that parents should be maybe focused on here in these couple weeks before right. it's time to send the kid back to school. There's a couple of things. First of all, if, oh, if every child, if every parent would read to their child for 20 minutes right. a night, choosing books that are age appropriate but maybe harder than they, more difficult than they're able to read, they just, um, they get more background knowledge and mm -hmm. it helps develop their vocabulary. And the other thing I would say is a couple of weeks before school starts, start getting back into that school routine. Right. And, um, you know, go to bed at the regular bedtime yeah. so that they're getting up a little bit earlier in the morning. Hard to do, but it pays off. Right. It is hard it to do, but it does pay off. You want yeah. to eke out every minute of summer. You can <laughs> That's right. right. Catherine from Groves Academy, thank you so thank much. You. We thank appreciate you. it.